Yeah, these are the rolls. Because I know I put it in soups a lot. Marshmallows were just perfect. Wow. That's just like you're toasting a marshmallow over the campfire. He's just hanging out there, waiting. That's that's the star of the show. Yeah. And then a lot of people make homemade rolls, and I've done it before, but we're up here and we're <clears throat> relaxing, so I did it easy. So we have okay. to get the rolls out to, to do it. We're in Idaho, and Idaho's really famous for their potatoes. I know potatoes. Because of the volcanic um, soil. Oh, really? Uh-huh. So, I mean, they're, they're famous. Everybody loves their Idaho potatoes, and so... Um, we actually have a friend whose family has a farm, and they go up every year and, and get 50-pound bags of potatoes and, wow. and things. So that's where we get our potatoes. <clears throat> Do this part and just leave them in the water. A lot of traditional um, Thanksgiving food, you know, the turkey, we're going to have mashed potatoes. We're actually going to have candied sweet potatoes. Yeah. So I've actually got the sweet potatoes in the oven baking, and okay. then um, after they're baked, then you make them, then you candy them up. Yeah. And then we'll have green bean casserole, um, stuffing, and cranberry sauce, Yeah. and the turkey. Wow. And then we have cheese balls and crackers just for an appetizer, before, well, or beforehand or afterwards. This is pumpkin pie. It's a Nanguazhou pumpkin pie. It's a big one. And this is apple pie. They have a lot Thanksgiving food. They have a lot of candy. They have a lot of candy. So do you roast it or do you normally? Yeah, yeah this is a roast, yeah, this is a roasting pan. And so okay. it's something we can just plug in and this is portable. And that way it frees up the oven. Because we'll have a lot of other things we're cooking okay. in the oven. And if we had a turkey in there, we couldn't. And so this is just a way to um, <clears throat> expand the cooking area. Could I see it? Uh-huh. There we go. Oh wow. Turkey is really big. Yeah, this one's an 18 pounder. Wow. Um we've had turkeys up to 30 pounds. Um this will give us enough for turkey dinner tonight, and we'll have things, we'll make some soup Leftover. later on. Mm -hmm. What do you make the soup with, with the broth? or? What, what you do is after you cook the turkey, and you've, you've had your Thanksgiving meal, then you boil the bones, okay. and that then you get your chicken broth, oh. and, and all of the other little scraps and stuff like that. So extremely healthy, then you add your vegetables. Are you enjoying the cuddle with Mei Mei? Mei Mei! Mm. You're cute. That's a cuddles, huh? I love you. I love you. Okay, we're making the green bean casserole. The green casserole. So green what, bean. What is this? Um, oh. this is green beans. Green beans. Okay. Uh huh. We're gonna make a casserole with it. So, are you gonna bake it or? Uh -huh. Yep, it'll be baked. You bake. Okay. So you mix this. Yeah, you mix that in there with it. That's cool. Oh, you just wash it out with... Yeah, you we know. put some milk in there. And then a little bit of soy sauce. Okay. Deep fried onions. Crispy fried onions. Ooh, that's good. Deep fried onions. On the top. Okay. And then we just put those in to bake. Oh, no. So those, oh, it looks like we're going to have some for another casserole another day. Okay. And the next thing we need... I'm gonna put some butter on top of these. So this is called roll. Yeah, these are the rolls. So they look kind of like the the rolls we have in China. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. Except this is all baked, but the one we have is steamed. 
Oh, you steam them, okay. Yeah. More like a dumpling, sort of. Yeah. Okay. And you put butter on top. And you can make these from scratch. Roger's mom had a really yummy recipe. Okay. Oh, now nice. I put it on. But look, it's all festive. It looks like Thanksgiving. Yeah. There so, why is Thanksgiving all like this color tone? Um, because it happens in the autumn. Are you hiding? So cute. Yep, gotta have lots of butter for the rolls, and that's really the only thing that will really need butter because everything else will already have the butter incorporated into it. Yeah. So there's the butter. Oh, wow. That's looking good. Yeah, it's looking really good. Maybe that just a little bit more for the last 20 minutes here. I think technically we're supposed to have it cooked and out. But you don't mash this, right? Yep, yeah, yeah, you mash it with butter. Okay. So we'll mash the potatoes. Oh, you add butter. Yeah. You guys put butter on your... Well, you guys don't just eat the sweet potato, right? Oh, we actually just eat it. Oh, do you? Okay. Because I know I put it in soups a lot. Oh, yeah, we put it in soup too. Put the marshmallows, marshmallows on top. And they get all toasty like you're toasting them over the fire. Yeah. They don't get brown on the top. And... Oh, yeah, that's done. And we'll use these juicy to make the gravy. The gravy yeah. Oh, okay. Do you just use it right away or you add something to it? She's gonna, she's Another making a. Pan. Okay. And what internal temperature do you want it to be? We want it at least to be 170. Uh -huh. So we're going to break this up a little bit. Okay. Uh, we might actually strain some of that out. Okay. So we're going to break this up a little bit. So we might actually strain some of that out. Okay. So we're going to break this up a little bit. Just regular flour? Yep, just regular flour. Oops, and oops. You can use cornstarch or which sometimes I think makes it smoother. The marshmallows were just perfect. Wow. That's just like you're toasting a marshmallow over the campfire. This messed up, dirty. Again, oops, I didn't get the grease out of there very good, but I'm putting it on over it again. Oh. This is for mashed potatoes, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've taken the softened potatoes and add butter and yeah. sour cream. And we will wait until... So again, you put butter and... Yeah, this just softens the tops of it. Yeah. Then you'll put butter inside when we sit down to eat. This is, this is what they call dark meat. It's the dark Oh, this meat. is more red. Yeah. That actually is yummy. It's really good. Yeah. Do you prefer dark meat or white meat more? I kind of prefer dark meat. Me too. This is a very handy knife we got. Yeah. <laughs> Very yummy. Next year, all the family will come. Yeah, yep. next year will be when we'll have. This year is the in law year. But they're very nice. So, this is like a buffet style. You get a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yep. Like I said, it all wouldn't fit on the table to pass it around, so you set it out.
Do you normally put the gravy on everything or just on the mashed potatoes? I just put it on the mashed potatoes, the stuffing, and the meat. And a little bit fills it up. That's why you have it earlier in the day so you can eat leftovers. Eat leftovers. Oh, the leftovers eaten. Or, yeah. Yeah, I like it. There, girl. <laughs> I don't that think gravy so. looks really good. Mm -hmm. And I was standing here thinking, what was it I forgot to bring over? And the marshmallows. And the light. Even the picture matches. It does. Yeah. It's a lot easier making it for five than fifty. Yeah. Of course, he just eats the warm, and I'm like, the warm deviled eggs taste funny to me. Yeah, the first time we made a, you know, quite hard-boiled eggs, the yolk was still running. <laughs>